Word, son. What do you do, YouTube? It's your boy Jedi Mine. All right, man. Before we get into this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share the word, spread the links, because you know how I do. If you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to so notify every time I upload. Without further ado, let's get over to it. All right, man. Um, I know back in the back in the stages of like whenever they would bring out Madden and put it in beta stage and have people try it out and give out beta codes for people to test the game, quote unquote, or get a chance to play it early. And people love to use the age old phrase whenever we rag on something in Madden and it's on the beta. They always say, oh, it's just the beta. You can't judge it. It's too early. The real game's going to be different from the beta, blah, 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 right? So I'm here to refute that claim. So today and tomorrow, we're going to spend a little time refuting that claim. Now, this game here in particular, I'm playing against the Ravens, as you can see. Now, we had a long fall game. It was a long, drawn out game, pretty good game, but. We ended up taking it overtime. Now, before we get into that, I just want to ramble off to you the overtime rules. And I'm paraphrasing. Feel free to Google if you need to. But in a nutshell, during the regular season in overtime, you um, whichever team receives the ball, like I said, I'm paraphrasing, whichever team receives the ball, they have to score a touchdown. If they score a touchdown, then the game is over. If they kick a field goal, then the other team gets a chance to uh to score if they score a touchdown the game is over if they kick a field goal then the other side it, it kind of goes back and forth until somebody um i guess still somebody scores a touchdown or whatever but anyway best case scenario the team that receives the ball on the opening kickoff on the opening possession if they score a touchdown the game is over now in the playoffs in the postseason both sides get a chance to you know try to be able to score the, like i said if one side scores and the other one doesn't then it's game over but in this one here, obviously, as you can see, which you're probably going to see right here right now, after I score, the announcers are talking about how, oh, it's a great game to watch and everything. They're talking as if it's over. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. We need an extra time to decide this one. The rushing score and OT finishes it off, but all throughout, really just a great game to witness. But as you can see, I'm literally kicking the ball back off to him. I like, a matter of fact, not even kicking the ball off back to him, but the fact that I'm kicking a point after. Most of the time, you score a touchdown, you don't need to kick the point after. It's game already. You scored a touchdown. That's it's wraps. They don't they don't take it that far. But in this one, they got me kicking the point after, and they got me kicking the ball back off to him as if we're in the playoffs, and we're not. So this is head-to-head -head regs. Keep in mind, nowhere on the field or nowhere in the game does it indicate that we're in the playoffs. So they decide to implicate the playoff overtime rules in regular season. This is supposed to be a regular season game in head-to-head -head regs. Explain to me how that works, Clint. I'm pretty sure this wasn't supposed to be a thing because the only time, like I said, you're supposed to get it to where both sides get a chance to score is if you're in the postseason. That's the only way you get a chance to score. Or I can understand if I kick the field goal and he, and he gets the ball and tries to be able to score a touchdown or kick another field goal to keep it alive. But no, this is a regular season game, allegedly. And when I scored that touchdown, the game was supposed to be over. Now, how in the world do you guys let this slide? Like, how, like, how, how do you guys, like, allow this to be something in head-to-head? -head? How? Like, explain that to me. It's funny because you can't. The only thing that you can say is, well, we tried to closely watch it and monitor it and make sure that the game was played decently. We tried to reach out to the community. The community not checking for that. They're really honestly not. You can search through the forums. Nobody's talking about this right here at hand. Nobody's talking about this. If it's not game breaking or if it's not one of those things where it's an it's a big exploit, y'all aren't y'all aren't talking about it. If it don't have anything to do with mutt, especially if it has nothing to do with mutt, if it ain't game breaking in mutt, you're not talking about it. You don't care about it. Mutt is pretty much your bread and butter. If it wasn't for Mutt, this game wouldn't be what it is now. It wouldn't be selling the way it is. But we're not going to get into that. Ladies and gentlemen, this game is still in beta stages. And especially, I also want to add the fact that we didn't even get a day one patch. Just, I think yesterday, or maybe two days ago, we got a patch that's supposed to fix the old line and all that good stuff. But it didn't really do too much because they still dumb out at times or whatever. We're not going to get into that. But... This game is still in beta stages because if it wasn't, it would have got a day one patch. But thanks to the Madden community, y'all told them not to patch nothing. So that's why we didn't get a day one patch. However, this game is still in beta and tomorrow we're going to continue to refute that claim. 
Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, man. I'm going to get up out of here. Appreciate the love and support y'all for showing videos, man. Most definitely welcome our new subscribers. Uh, like I said, make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Share the word, spread the links, because you know how I do. But I'm going to get up out of here, man. It's your boy, Jay Devon, and I'm signing out. Peace.